So in this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about Hulk Buster. Got me level 80. All right, so um, there are a few stages he could do for World Boss Legend. Um, but basically, this guy's uh, mechanics and uh, like uh, passes and all that is more like for PvP, like Other World Battle, AC, stuff like that. But we will uh, show him off in uh, World Boss Legend. Uh, but his tier 2 passive, as you can see, gives him super armor on defense. Skill damage, bonus damage, 30% damage reduction. Uh, he does have a support for uh, techno-kinetic allies. 35% uh, increase of HP. He has a leadership for all allies, 35% uh, all attack. And a 70% increase to uh, Iron Man. So those do not stack. Just a flat 35% for other allies <clears throat> and 70 for Iron Man. All right. And uh, he's not proc friendly. I will say he's not proc friendly. Uh, so if you do use him like in World Boss Legend or like GBR or anything, uh, you'll probably have to give him a rage. Uh, but for like uh, PV the PvP game modes, I will say uh, Mighty or Brilliant Authority. Regen, or you can even give him a conquest. Uh, that's up to you. All right. So, as you can see, I don't have any Odin's on him. Uh, now his stats are pretty good. So he almost has sixty thousand physical attack, twenty six thousand uh, physical defense, twenty two thousand energy defense, and one hundred twenty one HP. So that's pretty good. I don't have the artifact. No, he has a stage twelve power ranger Hulk. Uh, his type is rank 5. Uniform is at Mythic. Alright. And the uniform does decrease chain hit damage by 20%. And he has a 3% heal for 1 second. So he has a, a heal. Alright. And the options being Modok, which is his best uniform. Uh, a Rat Knight. A Domino. Carnage. And... Cable, Cable and Deadpool, which is a very old uniform. Alright, so those are the options. Uh, and I have a crit damage mini rage proc obelisk. So, we'll be taking him into some World Boss Legend content. A couple of them. Show y'all how his gameplay is. Alright, the first one we'll test out is Mephisto. Now, uh, he can only go up so far. The stage 29, we need combat, and he is, he does have a type disadvantage. So, uh, but we're going to use this team right here with Seth lead and support. And we have America Chavez, which has a support also. So, for each combat character, you do have a lead and a support character, but we're going to use this right here. Alright, so stage 29. So, he does have beautiful... Um, attacks they look good uh, he has a B pad on his third skill uh, but like I said he's not prop friendly so if you want to use him like for a damage dealer uh, CTP of rage will be uh, would you know suffice but uh, PvP he has a couple good options there alright so you want to do 5 delay 4 delay 3 into the 6 and that is his rotation. Like I said, he has a V pad, as you can see. All right, so that was 44 sec. Well, 4:44, so 16 seconds. Okay, not bad. And he's pretty fast, also. So. So as you can see, he's running through this, so uh, wouldn't be no sense of continuing because he's going to destroy it because he's level 80. Now, if he was level 70, then yeah, you can see a big difference. Uh, then if you go to 72, then that's where you'll see a whole lot more difference in his attacks. So I won't finish the fight, but I just want to show you uh, his gameplay on uh, Mephisto. But we will take him into a stronger World Boss Legend. Alright, so we're going to go to Gore, stage 50, where you need the strong type uh, 
characters. Now there are a couple. You have Gladiator, Namor, uh, Kamala Khan. She could definitely do it. Hope. So you do have a couple of uh, heavy hitters that can actually do it. We're going to show off Hulk Buster with Titania lead. She has a 6% increase of physical attack for combat types. And she has a support passive for uh, strong type characters on her uniform. No, it's not her uniform. It's her 4-star passive. Yeah, as you can see, apply the strong allies. Increase all attack by 25%. So they're basically getting 85% uh, attack for uh, Titania. So that's really good. All right. So he really showed me something when I was uh, testing on Gore. So he did pretty good. I ain't gonna lie, he did pretty good. So this update doesn't look like um, kind of like a skip, really. So he did pretty good on these uniforms. Okay. Let's see. Okay. He is tanky. Pop the awakening and okay. All right, so he did not skip this phase. Well, he didn't uh, get enough to skip it anyway, but he does have a lot of uh, AOE to where he can, you know, get away with it. Okay, we're going to switch here. Okay. As you see, he's doing really well, <clears throat> really good, and that's just with a mini rage obelisk. So if he had a rage, then he could go a whole lot faster. As you can see, <laughs> like I said, the heel does come in clutch. Pop the awakening. And he got uh, 
disturbed in his awakening, but that's fine. Like I said, it took a little time, but just a regular obelisk, no CTPs, nothing like that. So he can't do it. So that's that was pretty good. That was really pretty good. So <clears throat> he has a little bit of a uh, little bit of niche in world boss. Uh, basically, like a lead. If uh, you ever come to the point where uh, you need like a leader support, now he can do it too. But mainly his focus is probably going to be like for other world battle and uh, AC. I'm not going to say timeline because the only combat person really in timeline is going to be Wolverine. So, but yeah, you know, just a quick little showcase of Hulk Buster in the uh, Thor Buster uniform, which is very nice. I like it. I like his uniform a lot. A uh, whole lot better than the. Uh, or is it the 3099? So, I wish that was a decent uniform too. Not going to knock that one, but this one right here is like way better. So, uh, let me know what y'all guys think of the quick little showcase of Hulkbuster in his uniform. Now, if you want to see him with a CTP, uh, let me know. Uh, I could probably do a, maybe a little PvP test, I guess, but... If you want to see a CTP of like Rage or or anything for like World Boss, uh, let me know in the comment box and I'll definitely do a, another showcase. But yeah, hit me in the comment box down below. Let me know what y'all guys think. Smash that like button and I'll catch you guys in the next video.